See, that's uh, one is the easiness and uh, second is the maintenance. So these two things majorly, right? If it is, if you talk about with respect to a merchant, okay, so he need is a very user friendly interface for the admin as well, which is there with the Veggie Store. Okay, yeah. for the customers, there are very beautiful themes and all things are available. So for them also, it is the easiness. Hi everyone, this is your host Nishtha Shukla. Welcome you to the Developer Experience Show. We are back with one more engaging and amazing interview with one of our partners of Begisto. We will have a discussion about Begisto. But before moving ahead with the conversation part, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of the future podcast. Today's guest, Mr. Rajneesh Vyas, is the CEO and founder of Sanak Technologies. It is the leading modern web development company established in 2003 and has an experience of more than 20 years. It has been working with different platforms for the last 20 years and now they have made four add-ons for Begisto as well. So let's discuss how was their experience in working with Begisto. So hi, how are you Mr. Rajneesh? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And how is everything going on? Yeah, it's all good. Uh, it's uh, weekend today, so waiting for the weekend. Oh, so you are excited to do something in the weekend? Yep, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So we should start with the interview. Yeah. So now I would request you to please uh, introduce yourself to our listeners. Okay. So my name is Rajneesh Vyas and uh, I, I am a founder and a CEO of Sanak Technologies. And... Um, uh, Sana Technology is there since last more than 23 years now and we have been working majorly in three areas that is one is a product development, second is the e-commerce, third is the digital marketing. So these are the our major four days where you know we do the products and services both and uh, you know we have been working with many of the clients from all over the world and we are more than like 100 people company. Oh, okay. So that's it about me. And so uh, uh, that's really great. So now I would like to know about e-commerce. What are your thoughts and opinions about it? I mean, why did you start at Sanak Technology? There is something in your mind before that? Yeah. So as I said, like I started in 2001. Uh, okay. That time the internet era had just started and e-commerce started, you know, you know, taking place, right? Even, you know, I think Amazon started just nearby that time. Okay. So, so since then, you know, you know, we have a, you know, a passion towards like digital commerce or the e-commerce things. And, you know, we, we started seeing slowly the growth of, uh, you know, e-commerce in each and every area. Initially started with you know, something like the books or something like that. And then slowly it went to everywhere. Right. And starting from independent uh, e-commerce sites to marketplace and again going back from marketplace to again, you know, the brand uh, e-commerce sites, something like that just started. And now I think uh, many of the e-commerce related issues has been you know, solved by, you know, many of the companies. Yes. Uh, like, like uh, Begisto and, you know, Webpool too, uh, you know, the Magento or many, many very big companies. Yeah. So that's how is, you know, the things are moved into the e-commerce side. Okay, so I guess everybody knows that there are struggles in every field. So I want to know what kind of struggles you have faced while you have started your business. Okay, so because I started it, uh, you know, from a very small place called Bikaner. And, you know, so to start uh, a, 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 an IT company in 2001 from you know, such a small place, what a, what itself is a challenge, right, to either to get a customer to get the resources. But uh, I was very much fortunate that, you know, I used to get a very, very good talent. Uh, we can, we, we, we nurture those talents as well. And yes. uh, till date, you know, we have got a very good, you know, set of uh, you know, talents that working with us. As well as uh, we were able to manage uh, some good customers through the references, of course. Okay. Uh, but yes, infrastructure wise and the resource wise uh, and other things, right? of course, because you are in, you know, in a very small place. So. There were some other challenges like that, especially with the infrastructure things. So, but but slowly those uh, things has you know we have uh, uh, taken over and then uh, uh, 
today we are fine and now we are there in uh, bikaner so even similar to the news yeah so started from a base and then step by step step by step raising yeah yeah uh, that's really great so like how many platforms have you been worked with uh, you all know what to know that okay so if you talk about the e-commerce um, majorly we work with uh, magento first okay magento okay. we work with uh, woocommerce we work with shopify squarespace and we also did uh, you know the custom development using the php as a core and as well as with the laravel and other some platforms and now we have also started working with uh, begisto which is uh, looks like to be a very promising platform coming up yeah surely it will yeah so i really want to know your experience with different different platforms and how was your experience with them in comparison to begisto as well okay so uh, for that matter like you know when uh, we started working on magento it was like open source right initially started with but then it was taken over and then you know there is uh, uh, the, the enterprise version or the paid version started coming up but then it was completely taken over by adobe so now it has become for the you know majorly on the enterprise side uh, open source uh, support is like uh, uh, uh like very uh, now now you know it's it's difficult to find some open source support of course it is there and it will be there but little bit difficult so merchants are trying to move out of that if they were using open source uh, then there is a shopify it is of course it's a saas based platform so uh, you know there was uh, uh, there was a you know uh, uh, limitations uh, with respect to the different like b2b b2c and all licensing things yeah but of course it was a good platform and um, then uh, woocommerce is all time favorite uh, everyone used to go but again it was also having its own limitations so oh, yeah. whenever there is a new technology coming uh, com- comes in the market uh, that comes up with the solution to the limitations whatever there in the existing platform right so but the pla- the challenges were different for different uh, platforms basically like for magento it has become for a bigger companies or the yeah. enterprises so that was a different challenge for shopify scale up uh, to enterprise level was a, a challenge for woocommerce is was a similar problem right similar challenge so uh, what i saw in begisto two things one is of course it's it's into the nascent stage and it is you know coming up very well uh, yeah. what i found with begisto is uh, majorly one is it's very very easy to learn right uh, yeah. based on the laravel so uh anyone who knows php or laravel he can learn within 2 weeks that is one yes. second is uh you know it's growing community it's uh, you know third is the major which we which i always you know admire about is see the whatever existing platforms are there in the market they are like you know they have done with their uh, features and all now they are busy with selling of you know that platforms now but what i could see in begisto is they are developing right so yes. what they did is like they are like uh, trying to cover most of the feature part like they are also come with ai vr ar you know there are many other things which you know many of the platform could have not thought about it right mm-hmm. so it's taking a time for them right but begisto is continuously working towards that and as it's an open source that's the main thing right so you know people are also you know adding their own feature so open source is a way to you know do, do the more innovations so it's like i can say begisto is more of innovative side yeah so i have a small game to play with you like choosing the platforms between magento and begisto on the basis of some keywords so are you ready for that yeah sure okay accessibility um it's it's uh, begisto okay customer support uh begisto reliability okay it's going to take some time for begisto for, for now maybe like uh, magento okay easy to customize yes of course begisto and what if uh, with some customers who have a low budget of course begisto that's really great so begisto in like having more points than magento Okay thank you so much 
So now at current, the customer is exploring which dimensions in e-commerce, like there are chatbot, AI, etc. So according to your opinion, which is the more, you know, exploring by the customer? See, uh, means you're talking about the end customer or the customer of Veggie Store or Magento? The common customer, I can say. That's, that's a consumer, like you know, who yeah. are going to use this, right? Yes. Yeah, of course, I, of course, it's 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 the it's the basically the customer experience kind of things, right? So they are always mm -hmm. looking like how uh, you know best they can compare, how best they can get alerts, how best they can you know see their choice of thing because uh, you know the e-commerce is becoming bigger, bigger, bigger every day. Now every day want to everyone want to sell everything on their side, right? So. You know, uh, many customers want to be choosy. They don't want to, you know, invest their time to go into the other places. Instead of they want to know like what they want, they want. That's it. They don't want to go here and there, right? So that's what the customer experience is the major thing which you know the users are looking for. Yeah. Okay. So what factors help you to choose biggest store? That's as I like. One is the open source. Second is okay. very very easy to learn. And third is most important is the innovations like, you know, whatever, you know, uh, the Beggy store are working, which I saw very closely, okay, um, yeah, yeah. on their website and the other details and all. So they are really working, you know, innovatively towards the, all the new things. So like how you come about, how you come to know about Beggy store? Like you heard somewhere, you have seen the website or how, how you have got to know about Beggy store? Yeah, I, I, I came across the website. Okay, while working some other projects, okay, we were working on some other projects. Our team has saw this, uh, you know, platform as well. They informed me and have gone through it and found it very interesting. Oh, so you have, you were just scrolling down the website and you just saw Big Store. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So like to all our listeners, what do you want to convey? I mean, if they are looking for this particular thing, they must choose Big Store. What kind of that particular thing you want to convey that if you are looking for this kind of thing, so you must choose the gisto. See, that's uh, one is the easiness and uh, second is the maintenance. So these two things majorly, right? If it is, if you talk about the respect to a merchant, okay, so he made is a very user friendly interface for the admin as well, which is there with the big store. Okay. Yeah. For the customers, there are very beautiful themes and all things are available. So for them also, it is the easiness. Basically. Okay, so because of that easiness and easy to learn, you will convey that the customer should go for Big Store. Yes, yes. Okay. So what marketing activity you are doing to promote your services in the market? Related to Big Store? Uh, related to Big Store as well and related to Sonak technology as well. Okay. Yeah, generally like uh, we go to the conferences, attend the conferences and as well as try to do the meetups. Okay, so these are the major and then sponsoring the events as well. Okay, okay. so these are the major uh, activities and of course the social media and we are very active in social media and very regular in social media, Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, for these activities. Okay, so basically you are like uh, promoting these kind of things on social media, the major part. Yes. Okay, that's great. So may I know your future plans with regards to Begisto? Would you like to share with our listeners? Yeah. So, uh, as I said, you know, we have already conducted one meetup. I think that was the first meetup outside Begisto, yeah. right? Yeah. At Jaipur. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this year only. Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, this year only, right? And, yeah. uh, and then, you know, we are looking forward to, you know, conduct more such uh, events in near future, as well as uh, we are looking forward to have a, you know, the bigger level of uh, Begisto events and we should be participating, sponsoring, Obviously. Or something like that. Yeah. We are also waiting for some bigger events for the Begisto, like some yeah. meetups and some more big events, which we're going to promote us as well. So what recommendations do you want to give the people who are using Begisto or the developers who are working on Begisto, like daytime and everywhere, like they are just focusing on Begisto, how to develop and how to build it more? Uh, no, here uh, I would like to say that, you know, uh, they must focus on a couple of things like if someone want to do with the, you know, the extensions because there is an extension with Beggy So yeah. they can focus uh, within uh, extensions also, they can focus on, let's say, integration. So uh, today the integration is one of the bigger thing or bigger buzzword, right, around uh, across the globe. So, uh, you know, they should look for like uh, 
uh, which all the platforms they can do the integration. Of course, that should be a, with the business cases, right? And uh, second is like if somebody wants to do the innovations kind of, then they must go for uh, the you know the innovative features wise. And third is like the business people, the business side, they can you know start making more and more use cases where you know they still can get it into. So as a marketplace as well as well as the individual uh, you know the brand uh, uh, brand stores as well. Yeah. So these are the places where I would like you know we should uh, focus on. Okay. So in short, if I will talk about your experience from the start till the end right now, and we'll move forward as well. But what is your experience till now with Big Store? Okay, so, explain. Yeah. So as I said, like it was very easy, open source, and something like that. So we we started with you know one person first, then we have added a couple of more people. So now yeah, we have yeah. a good team, you know, who can quickly get onto the project and you know get the store up and running and do the customizations that is needed there and all and as well as as uh, we are into the extension things as well so we have developed a lot of extension in uh, magento woocommerce uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, you know even Vegisto and also another platform called Voodoo. so you know uh, we, we we are looking forward to do more and more uh, uh, you know extensions as well yeah, I heard that you have made some of the add-ons, I guess, for Begisto as well. Yeah. So, do you do you have any struggling time and at that time of period when you were like building up those add-ons? No, as I said, it's very easy platform to learn basically. Yeah. So we anyway, of course, because uh, uh, you know we just started initially, so we started first with the making of the extensions, then we went on to the go on for the full fledged uh, uh, the stores as well. So it was easy uh, onboarding, you can say, uh, on Begisto for us. Okay, that's great. So what will you recommend to our users who visit your city and can have something from Beacon Air? Mm, it's like uh, kachori and uh, bujia and uh, sweets, of course. Okay. That's that's the thing so for the for, for the Beacon Air. Oh, that kachori. Bujia and one more thing is the sweets all 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 sweets. Okay, is all sweets are famous from Bikaner? Yes, majorly. Okay, so our users must visit Bikaner and can have some sweets and chorizos. Yeah. I will suggest them. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we should wind up, or you want to share something more with us, or you want to ask with us? Uh, no, it's fine. I would like to say that you know the more and more innovations uh, go on to the Bikaner store, I would like yeah, to yeah. say you know. That's what uh, you should look for, and uh, more and more downloads. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Rajneesh, for joining us today and giving us your valuable time, and also sharing the insights of your company with our listeners. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Found this video helpful? Do press the like button and share your views in the comment section below. You can also share your ideas or plans via social media. See you all in the upcoming podcast. Till then, stay tuned.